Hey y'all, Java the Ruler, back with another one. So let's get right into it. We're gonna talk about today, hygiene in prison. Now, it is so hard to have good hygiene in prison as far as products and like getting you a routine and stuff like that because you're limited. You're limited to the products that you can buy for yourself. You're limited to the products the state gives you and you limited to how much routine and scheduling you can do. First off, they do give you pads they do not give you tampons. And pads, you get two packs of pads once a month, all right? The pack of pads may have like 16 in them. And I know y'all like, okay, 16 to 16, that's 32, that's a lot of pads. But the pads are so cheap and so thin, you literally have to swap them out like every hour or so. You, It's not like a regular pad where you can, you know, you got some time before it fill up, you can time it good. No, no ma'am. If that pad lasts you an hour, it was none but the Lord that held you together because they don't hold at all. And on top of that, pads are used for more than just a menstrual cycle. We use pads for everything. We use pads to, you can make tampons out of pads. Yes, you can. I don't like those because they're too unstable. And honey, what I'm gonna do if that pad break off inside of me because I done thought I made a tampon. Because if you don't make that thing tight enough and it unravels, what you gonna do, okay? You gonna go to Medica, that's what you gonna do and have them take it out. We use pads to clean, so like, you know how you got the Okay, Jax International. But you know how you have the mop sticks and you can, you know, you twist it and twist it and you put the mop head on. And okay, yeah, one of those. So we put pads, the sticky side, you unpeel it and you put the sticky side on the part that where you will put the mop on the bottom, not on the side now, because if you put it on the side, what you going to do? You can clean your walls with that. But so you put it on the bottom and we mop the floors with them because yes, the dorms have mops, but you have to understand how dirty the floors are. So... You have this mop, they rotate it out, they wash them, but in prison, they don't, they wash a lot of stuff with a little bit of product. So they use bleach and laundry, they use detergent, but they wash so much stuff and they use so little of it, it's like they're not even using it at all. So you can send your mop heads and rags down to get washed, but they don't come back clean. Like they still dingy, they don't come back looking decent. So who's finna mop they flow with that? nobody so we use pads to mop the floors we use pads to clean the walls you put it on that stick and you with your caustics up and down the wall when you like because sheet day is every wednesday well it's once a week depending on where you at but for the most part it was wednesdays at the most prisons i went to and you wash your sheets now most times people because you have to send your sheets in they get washed with everybody's sheets with a little bit of bleach detergent so most people with good hygiene or who care about how their stuff looks does not send their stuff to laundry now they get on a kick every now and then where they try to write you up and then they come in there and they force you to put your sheets in they do that then of course you have to but most of the times people if sheet days on wednesday you strip your bed because if every bed in the dorm is stripped and sheets is in and everybody know it's sheet day and your bed still made red flag so rather you wash them or if you pick another day if you don't wash them on wednesday and say you want to wash your sheets on the weekend you still gonna strip your bed on wednesday when sheets go in because that's a red flag they know you ain't sent your sheets in so you're asking the police to come to your bed because it's like hey everybody else in the dorm sent in their sheets i did not come bother me come search my locker come take all my contraband so you strip your bed regardless so most people wash their sheets on the days that you know sheets go in so i mean it's easy you got to take them off anyway so after you wash your sheets and you have to sneak and hang them out because you ain't supposed to hang no sheets they ain't you aren't you're not even supposed to wash them with your hands they're supposed to go to laundry so you got to hide and hang your sheets you hang your sheets then you got to wash the police every time they walk the floor when they you hear that that dough buzz or you see them get up out that bubble you got to run go grab your sheets roll them up hide them somewhere wait till they get done doing their rounds and go put them back up like so when you wring them sheets out you got to wring them out good because you want them to dry as fast as possible and that's a whole nother video of how much elbow grease you have to use to wring out them sheets it's a team effort you have to get somebody else grab the sheet grab the sheet and you and uh, you popping them and everything like listen after you wash them sheets you be tired because it's two of them all right but anyways so you make your after you wash your sheets of course you take your bed apart so we use pads to wipe down the bed that's why i got to the sheet story so you use pads to wipe down your bed clean your area so pads listen you're not getting rags 
the rags is the same thing they dingy who wants to clean anything with that so it's kind of a struggle to have good hygiene in prison because you either use the dirty rag that everybody else use or you use rags that you bought because you can buy rags off the canteen so you either buy rags off the canteen but the thing about buying rags off the canteen you buy them you use them they dirty okay now you got to clean them and you're gonna bleach them right because they rag so you're gonna bleach them right so now you're using all your bleach that's contraband that you got to pay for that you got to hope you can find somebody with some pure bleach you get what i'm saying now you use a lot of bleach for your sheets you use a lot of bleach for your sports bras your underwear your t-shirts so you really don't just have bleach laying around and just be washing rags especially if you clean every day all your bleach going to your rags so use pads because they are disposable you use them and you throw them away you don't have to wash them nothing you put your little caustics on there clean you good so pads have multiple use so 32 pads a month is nothing okay it's absolutely nothing now what happens is there are people who sell their pads like women who are older that don't get a cycle because when you go up there and they passing out pads once a month, they ain't going to say, oh, are you going through menopause? Or, oh, you don't need no pads. Oh, do you still have a period? They not doing that. They You come up there, everybody get pads. So the older women's like, they'll either give their pads away or they'll sell them to you so that you'll have extra. You can buy pads and tampons on the canteen. They are very expensive, okay? You can only spend $100 a week. I don't care if you have a billion dollars in your account. You can only spend $100 a week unless you go around it but that's a whole nother video so they do have pads and they have tampons on the canteen they are very expensive okay now they expensive based off of the hundred dollars that you can spend and the limit that you have so that's a hundred dollars for everything if you need shampoo conditioner lotion toothpaste like all of that now when it comes to lotion the state does not provide you lotion deodorant they don't give you deodorant all right so you have to buy deodorant off the canteen and the deodorant always sucks. So they don't give you lotion. They don't give you deodorant. They don't give you conditioner. They don't give you shampoo. You have to buy it off the of canteen. And it sucks. Okay. Especially if you have the type of hair that I have. It's not, it's not black hair friendly. Okay. It's just not. We had dark and lovely at one point and then they stopped selling it. And dark and lovely wasn't the best, but it's all we had. But they stopped selling dark and lovely. You have to buy your deodorant, you have to buy your conditioner, and you have to buy your shampoo off canteen. If you don't buy it, you ain't gonna have none unless you go around asking people and they give you some. But I mean, how long are you gonna go around asking for people stuff? Like, how many times they gonna give it to you? So once again, you have to buy hygiene. Hygiene is expensive. It's expensive out here. Once again, you have $100 a week to spend. So now we don't rack up, you got to buy pads, you got to buy tampons if you use tampons. And then on top of that, you got to buy shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, um, deodorant, and all the food you need. Now, I don't need paper or stamps or envelopes. Don't need any of that kind of stuff. Don't need none of that because that all that goes into the $100 a week that you can spend. So it's not that, like if you have somebody in prison, they ask you for money a lot. It's not that they just don't know how to budget. It's just, you have to buy a variety of stuff with $100. So you know, when you go shopping, you might go buy, oh, I'm gonna go get hygiene today. You spend a couple of dollars. Oh, I'm gonna go get food today. You spend a couple of dollars. You have to buy everything at one time. So you buying hygiene, you buying food, you buying everything that you need all at one time so imagine having to get everything you need for that week with a hundred dollars it is hard to have good hygiene in prison because the state just does not provide you with it toilet paper they sell toilet paper on the canteen they do give you toilet paper they give you like three rolls a week or some prisons give you two rolls a week now i know y'all like oh, that's that's decent if it's just you it's one ply is one ply toilet paper and also you have to remember you're in prison so you ain't gonna just go and sit on the toilet if you have good hygiene you ain't gonna just go in the bathroom and sit on the toilet we treat people with good hygiene treat toilets in prison just like you treat a public bathroom okay that thing gonna get laced with toilet paper and then you have a lot of people who don't even sit on the toilet they just hover over it and use it and i you can imagine everybody ain't got good aim and everybody does not clean up behind themselves so you go in the bathroom and then it's all over the place. So if you actually have to do, you know, do the do number two and you got to sit on it, you got to lace the toilet with toilet paper and you're going to lace it good. Ain't no, oh, one, one, one. No, you're going to lace that thing a couple times because you got to sit there. So one ply toilet paper do not last. People do sell their toilet paper. It's crazy. Just so many hustles, so many ways to make money. Some people 
that don't really care about hygiene, they, I'm telling you, they, they'll sell anything for a suit. But you can buy toilet paper on the canteen because you, you're not going to, it, it ain't going to last you. And if you run out of toilet paper and you go to the bubble and you're like, hey, I need toilet paper, they don't give you a roll. Now, some officers, that's nice. If you catch it when they just got a box, you know what I'm saying? You go up there and be like, let me get a roll of toilet paper. Then they'll give it to you or, you know, if they know, like, you need some toilet paper or you are right with them they'll give you a roll but for the most part when you go up there and say you need toilet paper they give they hand you a roll of toilet paper and they tell you to get some roll off so you get the roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and then you have to get them that roll back the whole roll because you don't they don't normally give you a whole roll like nine times out of ten you're getting some roll off so you go up there and they give you the toilet paper roll and you roll you roll you roll you roll and you give it back who wants to go up there and take some roll off? Now, it's one thing if you catch them when they're giving a fresh roll. So it's like, okay, just my hands touch this toilet paper. I mean, and of course theirs. But people don't wash their hands. People is nasty. I don't want to go up there and use that roll and get some roll off after five other people done use that roll to get roll off. So you got to buy toilet paper on the canteen. And see how this list is just adding up? The only time, because I said that they don't provide you with deodorant, shampoo, and conditioner. The only time you get those items from the state is if you are declared indigent. And now indigent means that you get absolutely no money. Nobody's taking care of you at all. No money. You don't get nobody to send you not a dime. And every three months they have an indigent list. When the indigent list come out, if you're on it, if you qualify, because you got to be literally like the poorest of the poorest to qualify for indigent. Don't be one of them people that get like $25 a month. $25 a month ain't no money, but you don't qualify for indigent. Like you got to have $0 and zero cent. Go up there and they get like, they get pretty decent stuff. Like they'll get a nice little Colgate. They'll get some, um, it just depends on the week. Sometimes they get the cheapest, lamest, dumbest stuff. And then sometimes they get really nice stuff, you know? So they go up there and they'll get um, a toothbrush. They'll get some toothpaste. They'll get a shampoo and a conditioner. Most times it's just average stuff. Sometimes it's really good stuff. And then sometimes the indigent thing just completely suck. And these people, once again, they are indigent. They don't get no money. They get zero dollars and zero cents. What most of them do is they sell their stuff. And I know y'all like, oh, if I ain't, if I had hygiene and I ain't get no money and they gave me hygiene, I wouldn't sell it to nobody. They get zero dollars and zero cents. I guarantee you, you care more about your stomach grumbling than you care about if your hair been washed. The state gives you toothpaste. So when they give you this nice toothpaste, you don't care about no nice toothpaste as long as you got a toothpaste. Some people don't even... Some people don't even brush their teeth. So don't judge them people who sell their stuff because they really don't get no money. Like zero dollars and zero cents. And they sell their stuff. And then you have the people with good hygiene who buy the stuff because you know the stuff on canteen is below minimum. So if they give and they got herbal essence this time, you're like, ooh, yes, you know? Because when it's nice, like on canteen, they sell like VO5 shampoo and conditioner. They had Dark and Lovely, but they stopped selling it. Then they had like Optimum. Um, they stopped selling that. I love that Optimum shampoo and conditioner because it was so thick. It lasted a long time. It was very thick. So you didn't need a lot. Like, you know, watery stuff. You just be, feel like you just be pouring all of it in your hand and you only can use it a couple times. But the Optimum it was real thick and it coated your hair. I love the Optimum. They stopped selling that too. So... The stuff is minimum at best. So you're going to buy this stuff. And I'm talking about when they get the nice shampoos and conditioners, them things going for like $25. You lucky if you catch somebody going anywhere from $12 to $25. You lucky if you catch somebody that's just really down bad and they trying to get rid of all of it and they sell it to you for $12. And it's just like anything like wholesale. Sometimes they'll sell it to you piece by piece, but they'll do a wholesale and sell the whole box. A lot of people like to sell the whole thing at one time so you be like no i just want the shampoo and they like i'm selling my whole box like you can get the whole box but you can't just get the shampoo and conditioner and them things go if you lucky we're gonna say you get it for 15 dollars. and i'm not even talking it's not always herbal essence <laughs> it's a different flavor vo5 you know what i'm saying it's a different type of brand like the swabs when they get the body washes and stuff the regular little swab that you get out the dollar store and that dollar them things going for 15 to 20 dollars so now add this all up and you still can only spend a hundred dollars a week so even if you got to buy your food you got to buy your stamps your envelopes you got to buy your hygiene on top of that you just bought this box from this energy person because you need it and, and i hope y'all know food is expensive like out here a soup is what 22 cent something like that a ramen noodle in prison before i left was 68 cent 
and you need a ramen noodle for every meal. So you're like, oh, that ain't bad. See, that's six dollars and eighty cents for ten of them. Like that stuff is very expensive. But hygiene in prison, it is hard to have good hygiene in prison. And then on top of that, taking showers. If you like taking a shower in the morning, you got to hide, steal, rob, kill, lie, manipulate. You know what I'm saying? You got to be like 007 just to get in the shower. Like climbing up walls, blending in with the scenery just to get in the shower. And then you got to have somebody that got your back that can tell you when the people coming so you can turn the water off. Because when they do their rounds, if they hit a water on, they're going to come to the shower and be like, who is that in the shower? Bring your ID to the bubble and write you up. You can get a CC. A CC is just like, it's not it's not as bad as a DR. It's like a detention slip. But when they write you CCs, you lose game time. So you have to do the most to get in the shower. Now, some prisons let you shower in the morning, but not all of them. But... That is all I have for you guys today. Y'all asked about hygiene in prison. And baby, listen, it is very hard to have good hygiene in prison because if you're broke, you're broke. Okay? You can bathe as much as you want to. But if you ain't got the, no soap, all you got is the state soap. Oh, my goodness. And it's like all it is is a thick hotel bar soap. People who hustle or have money to get that, they use the state soap to wash their clothes. It is good to wash clothes with, now. Nah. I ain't gonna lie. It's real good. It lather up real good. But as far as shower with... Mm -mm. And I used to have to take a shower and use state soap because I was just that broke. That's why I play with who? You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, I, listen, I, I have humbled myself. I have forgiven people. I have moved into the woman that I am today. But I ain't forgot I had the base with state soap. Don't be claiming you love me and I had the base with state soap. But that's all I got for y'all for real. Until next time, y'all have a very very amazing december happy holidays to everyone on the flip side